Welcome back to my show. I'm the Beer Adventurer. And I'm Lunchbox. And this episode, it's Belgian Ales. Um, I love Belgian Ales. Like, I fell in love with Tremays. You know, it was the, the whole novelty of being a Trappist ale. That was kind of neat to me that it was uh, brewed in a monastery by, by monks. I was like, this stuff is blessed by God. <laughs> so that made me want it. And I fell in love with it. And so is this the beer version of Chick-fil-A? It could be. This is Jesus's beer. Be. Jesus's beer. <laughs> this is Jesus's beer. But um, no, these two are special though because they're they're the monks ales. Okay, now a lot of people are familiar with the red, white, and blue Chimay's. Now, if you get, apparently it wasn't released until not too long ago, and the only place I've ever been able to find it is in the actual like gift pack that comes with something. And I've also found St. Bernardus, which is an even older brand. That's right. It's an older, older Trappist setup. So I had purchased. This is the only one from Great Britain. Right. This is the only Trappist uh, brewery in Great Britain. Well, this is Project of Belgium. Oh, well. There we go. The St. Bernard Abbey. Yeah. Well, I wonder if they all have to say that. I don't know. Because, you know, there's like six in Belgium, and, and there's only like one in all these other countries. <laughs> well, the, the thing is with this, I saw some other ones, and the people I were with was like, well, I've never had those, but I've had the Chimay. I wonder what it tastes like against that. And I was like, well, I already have the other ones. I might as well get these and we'll try it. Well, let's try it. We did find out, though, that the you'll see the Prater, which basically this was the Monk's beer. Right. They're so, both double style. Yeah. Dubel. Mm -hmm. How do you pronounce that? I, I think it's Dubel. Um, and yes, I am using the coin on the cap because these caps are cool looking. These are going to be great in my collection. Um, no, you hear that? You're right. These are... Let me see that one. That is going to look great in my collection. <laughs> these are... Um, they're going to have the yeast, so I'm going to have to double pour these. Because I say they're bottle conditioned, we want the yeast. Mm. So, you know, you pour it, you leave a little bit in the bottom, you kind of shake it up a little bit. Get your swish on. So what I'm gonna do because there's oh, a little you got bit a lot of, more head than me, right? It's now what we're gonna do is we're gonna taste it this way, oh. and then taste it the oh. other. And oh, I've never done this before. Yeah. So this, this is, is like a the new thing. This is like the oh wow. Now oh that's a bit dark. We've never tried these together. I've never had any of these. Like ever. well, I don't think I've ever had this chimet. I haven't had this one. I've had the other ones. Um, I've, had I've had never one. had a St. Bernardus. I haven't either. Wow. That is a lot darker. That's a significant difference. And I poured, let the head go. You can see that's a much darker color hair. That's caramel colored as opposed to like, this is like snow white. Right. All right. Let's see what the smells are before we have any yeast and a little taste. Oh, interesting. That's very floral. There's... But it's also like baking going on. Is that the yeast I'm smelling, I guess? Yeah. Whoa. Holy cow. The smell of this one. Oh. That's a, that's almost in, into pie territory right there. That one this almost one has smelled, a little coriander smell to me. This smells almost fruity. I smell like a little bit of like fig or something. That's what I guess that's what I'm saying yeah. about fruit. So I'm gonna go ahead and taste it before I, I put any. Which one are we tasting? The Chimay. Chimay first, let's see. Oh, that kind of bounces around. I'll be honest, I was I was anticipating a little more of that that Belgian bubblegummy flavor. No, it doesn't wrap around. It bounces around your tongue. It doesn't wrap around. Yeah, and I was expecting, I smell a little more kind of coriander than I taste, which is good for me because I don't like coriander. It smells spicier than it tastes. Yes. 
Um, you trying the other one? It's kind of yeah, but do you not get do you get the dry? Oh yeah, it went away real quick. Yeah, that's why I said it bounced around. It's mm -hmm. not like it, it it hugged your tongue. Okay. Oh wow. Oh wow. <laughs> That thing like coats the back of your throat. <laughs> it starts off really sweet and then it almost gets like a vinegary sour and then the sour goes away and it's like So fruity. I'm going to say there's more yeast in that one. I'm guessing that that's... Um, there's definitely okay. more carbonation, I think. 6.7% alcohol. Okay. This one... But um, the, it, it was a much bolder thing it, and again, it did that bouncing thing but it more coated my tongue and then like coated the whole back of my throat that was crazy this one's 4.8 so this is almost two percent higher alcohol content which that's kind of crazy did you swish it oh, we're gonna have to pour a little bit we're gonna get a yeah. good swish because uh i have stored these for the week or two that i've had them Upright. Let's see. Oh yeah, you can tell there's some yeast coming out of that now. It darkened a little bit. Got cloudier for sure. Maybe that's why. Look, foam. Dark. Foam turns to beer. Yep. Okay. Mm. More of that spicier note. Looks like there's a little uh, a little yeast in this one too. Yeah. It got thicker. The mouthfeel, as you call it. Yeah. It got a little thicker um, with that. That's like whipped cream. You're just like adding oh. up on top of there. Wow. That's kind of neat. So let me see what I would. Uh... Okay, I like Little it creamer. way better with the uh, with so the yeast in it. Is that the creamier or something? You know what I mean? It's, yeah, it's it's thicker and more velvety. On the, it on the smells tongue. different too. Yeah, it smelled like it kicked up the spices a little bit. You know, it smells nicer and tastes nicer. So there you go, folks. Swish up your beers, whether or not you're having a chamay. You see a little sediment bombs? Shut up! Oh Get yeah, out of there. I mean, that's twice as good. That is. Yeah, you got a whole different beer. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, let's let's try. I, it. I haven't tried this one yet with the with the swish added. Mmm, it like tuned that little pretty fig smell you're talking about. Maybe it's because you told me it was fig. Okay, the kind of strange vinegary flavor that I got is gone now. Uh, that's weird. Mine's not really gone, but it's definitely been like kind of flattened a little bit. Like it doesn't. It went from neat to yeah, that's nice. When I put the sediment in there, I don't like how long that one's hanging around. Mm. Yeah, because it's it's mm. uh it's definitely a little hoppier, but it's not overpowering hops. But it s sticks around a little top too long for me. I can see that. Back end. Yeah. Um. To be honest, we weren't sure how different or similar the beers would be, but based on the fact that it was saying they were both the Prater's beer, which means these were the beer that was brewed for the monks, this not the, for not the beers that were brewed for sale. This is the help. stuff we make for ourselves. Yeah, not but they're monks, so the stuff they make for themselves isn't like super strong. It's barely. Um, I think um, in both of the these breweries this falls on the lower end of, of the spectrum because most of the other ones are a lot uh stronger uh, the yeah the other beers that they make uh yeah i've got a a quad from saint bernardus which it's like 10 or something yeah it's crazy. That that's gonna be a beast look for you that should, review that's right check that one out okay well i think uh i think these have kind of been Describe to the best of our abilities currently. Uh, these are beers that I think, as my palate evolves, I might want to revisit because. Well, it's uh, neat. Like I said, there's that novelty thing of the being a Trappist ale 
they're they're made in, in monasteries by monks and stuff so like they've probably prayed over it um so it's kind of neat and and it is something different you know um, they follow the same rules the the beer laws oh yeah as, as everybody else there's only the four main ingredients um but the, they do so much more with it yeah. <laughs> it's, really it's their yeast is what's one of the yeah, main things that's, that, that could be their it. yeast all right well let's uh let's give these a little final once a final tug and then uh okay mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's do this. Which one did you like more? You know, like I said, I've always been a fan of Chimay, mm -hmm. but I actually think I like the other one better. Um, out of these two, and to be one hundred percent honest, we're not even sure if these two should technically be. Judged against each other, but well, we're doing it. <laughs> but based on what we found when we like we Wikipedia them, um, I wiki this. These were both Google is so over. These Wikipedia. were the these were the priests, the 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 friars, or when that are they? I don't know. I'm going to go back and modify wiki now because it says this is the Pater's beer, and like now it's available. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this is like. This this is the monk's beer, so we decided we'll do the monk's beers together. Yeah. And I actually kind of think that I like this Saint Bernardus a little better. I do. I do. I'm super duper digging that one. Um, and the main reason is there's a little bit of the coriander going on for this one for me. And I always watch my it. videos. I can taste a little bit, but I'm also one of those guys that cilantro tastes like soap too. So, um, but now when we get to the did you dig it on both of them? Uh, that is a resounding yes. Yes, I did. I thought they were both real cool. Uh, would I have another? Sure. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll probably have another. Um, the Would you get a six-pack type thing? It really doesn't apply to these beers. Um, they don't go in that way. Right. I don't know if I'd really get a six of all of them, but I would definitely put a few in a six-pack. Well, what I'll do possibly is I might get another... Uh, one of the things where you know, hey, you get the the, the different ones in a in a glass. I might do that again. Gotcha. Um, or if I'm going to some event with a bunch of real good beer guys, some of these beers are even big beer. Uh, but okay, so sharing size, right? So we're we're coming down to your numerical rating: one pint to ten pints. Let's well, do the Chimay first. The Chimay, I'm going to give it a solid seven. Absolutely. I like Dead it. On. It's a solid beer. <clears throat> it has everything you want in the Trappist Tale. Um, I really dig it. I really, really dig it. I thought it was pretty cool. I think it's a seven as well. Uh, the St. Bernardus. I've already said I like it more. So this one gets bumped up to an eight. That's got that full flavor delivery. Um, even though I don't like the aftertaste, how long it lingers, I still think it's a better, fuller flavored beer. It has a much rounder, complete flavor to it. Um, For me, anyway. Before I did the sediment and everything on both of them, um, it would have been a seven, but the the it it's an eight. All day long. Yeah, because when you added that, it, it finished. It was like the beer was missing something. And it released it. Yeah. <laughs> well, nice. tell us what you think. Have you guys even had this? Um, well, these are the Chimay's are a lot easier to find. <coughs> They're more widespread, I've found. Um, <coughs> this one I had not seen until you showed it to me. I never right. even heard of it. So um, just to ask for the Trappist, there's a difference between Trappist and Trappist style. The Trappist style is just made the same way, but it's not in an actual monastery. So, and by the way, no monks were harmed in the filming of this video. Not yet. Right. Uh, so, if you enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up. If you really enjoyed it, subscribe. Uh, if you thought this was useful, share this. Tag your friends. Yeah. Put us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. That's right.
Matter of fact, these are on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. But uh, there you go. Until your next Trappist adventure. Cheers. Cheers.